My name is Dino Maglich, and we are at the Medical Genetics Branch here at the National Human Genome Research Institute at National Institutes of Health. So the diseases we work on here are rare genetic diseases. Uh, these diseases are not what we think of common as diabetes or heart disease. Okay. So many of these diseases only a few people in the world have. So I'll look at these cells under the microscope to see how they're looking, if they're looking healthy or if, I, if they're looking the way I want them to be. We try to recapitulate these diseases and therefore come up with a diagnosis and hopefully a treatment for uh, the patients that carry these diseases. So I'm originally from Bosnia. Uh, Bosnia is a war-torn country and during my time there I saw a lot of devastation and uh, human loss during the war. Uh, I think that that's one of the things that got me interested in medicine and helping people but another aspect of my life is uh, the artist aspect of me. Uh, as an artist, I've paid great attention to detail for all of my life and always been curious about the things around me and just really focused on little things in life that most people didn't look at. So I think it's these aspects of my life that sort of have gotten me interested not only in medicine by, but also in biomedical research. So my curiosity has always driven me to explore the things around me. Coming from a background as myself from Bosnia, I would have never thought that I would be where I am today. Uh, being a selected scholar has been a true privilege. Uh, it's allowed me to lead my generation in uh, not only biomedical research, but also in medicine. And so uh, being at the forefront of my generation and to try to sort of lead uh, these discoveries has really, really been a privilege. So we analyze most patients DNA and that's usually done by sequencing where we figure out the whole code of their uh, genome. Uh, through there we look for aberrations in their genome to see why uh, they present with their disease and, and that's usually the first clue to the pathogenesis of the disease. We also use patient cells uh, to try to figure out other processes in the cells that could be abnormal and that, that, that further can inform us uh, about the uh, disease process. Uh, so we use different tools such as uh, sequencing, PCR, uh, western blotting, cell culture, and we do a lot of microscopy. And hopefully those are tools that can help us figure out treatments for them. One of the diseases that uh, we study is g and &E myopathy. It's an adult onset muscular dystrophy. This is a very rare disease, uh, but we here at the NIH have the capability to try to figure out why this is happening to them and how we can uh, treat them and hopefully cure them. Most of these diseases uh, onset very early on uh, in childhood, but some of them uh, onset later on in life. Some of them onset very randomly and progress very quickly. And so some of these patients do not have very long to live and therefore we don't have a lot of time to study them. So we are forced or pressured to work as hard as we can in, tr in order to figure out uh, what we can to, in order to help them. What are we looking at here? Uh, this is a zebrafish muscle tissue. Zebrafish have very similar muscle tissue to what we have um, and that's the reason we are studying human disease in zebrafish. Most importantly, I think that uh, after seeing patients here at the NIH during our rounds, uh, we see that many of these patients don't have any hope and we are their last hope so doing this kind of research uh, is inspiring um, to continue to sort of to solve problems and to help these people because they uh, no longer have anything to look for to not just a diagnosis but to a cure. Importantly genetics is becoming a, a fast-growing field and I believe that genetics will answer a lot of unknowns in medicine and therefore lead to many more medical discoveries. So I think it's a very exciting field and uh, will probably be in the forefront of all of medicine um, in the next coming decades. So it's very exciting and I hope that many more people will come join because uh, the field is needed to be filled so that way we can figure out these rare diseases and also common diseases that have genetic implications. Thank you.